So it seems like AMD could be dropping a high-end graphics card in 2020, a huge graphics card with enough power to compete with Nvidia RTX 2080 Super or even the RTX 2080 Ti. Now if these rumors turn out to be real, this would definitely be AMD's proper return in the enthusiast high-end desktop GPU space. Now according to this leak coming from Reddit, which then was also picked up by WCCTF Tech, AMD could be planning on dropping a graphics card in the next generation Navi family twice as fast as Navi 10 or the Radeon RX 5700 XT. In other words, the graphics card powerful enough to break the RTX 2080 Super. Let's look at all the things we know about AMD's RTX 2080 killer. Hey what is up guys, my name is Robin, welcome to RB and Hardware, I hope you're doing fine. Today we're gonna look at AMD's RTX 2080 killer high-end Navi GPU called Navi 21 which could change up the graphics market completely. Now a disclaimer here as always, as this information has not yet been confirmed by AMD, we're gonna have to treat this with a grain of salt. But yeah, according to the leaker on reddit, Navi21 features a 505 square millimeter die size and GDDR6 memory and in comparison Navi10 has a die size of 251 square millimeter and so this makes Navi21 twice as big. WCCF Tech is reporting that this is even bigger than AMD's Vega a 20 GPU which had a die size of 331 square millimeters so it could mean that we're looking at the powerhouse of a ship which should definitely be faster than anything the AMD has released yet. Now the AMD Vega 20 featured 13.2 billion transistors so the Navi 21 GPU could exceed 15 to even 60 million transistors which would make this ship far more denser than anything else on the market right now. now the detail to the leak were posted at a Taiwanese forum which listed down several key specifications of the upcoming high-end Navi GPU. Now we know that AMD's current Radeon RX lineup is based on the 7 nanometer process node and it's part of the first generation RDNA family. The second generation is expected to take use of the advanced 7 nanometer plus process node should give us an overall performance efficiency and god not forbid hardware accelerated ray tracing which is also a huge part of second generation RDNA. If we take a look at this chart here, this is coming from one of the AMD's presentations showing the advantage in terms of power the Navi field GPUs have to the older Polaris and GCN architecture aka the RX 570, the 580 and the 590 cards etc. And as we can see there is quite a significant increase in power and performance with the new Navi GPUs from AMD. Speaking of performance, what can we expect of Navi 21? So now because because Navi 21 is said to be at least twice as fast as the Navi 10 GPU, the Radeon RX 5700 XT is the best case for the Navi 10 GPU and its graphics card comes close to the GeForce RTX 2070 Super. Based on that information, Navi 21 could exceed the RTX 2080 Super performance and even come close to the RTX 2080 Ti and this might explain why we are hearing rumors about an Nvidia RTX 2080 Ti Super and so if Nvidia is planning on a super card of the RTX 2080 Ti, perhaps we don't have to wait that long for Navi 21. Now I think it's important for AMD not waiting too long dropping the Navi 21 because as we know Nvidia is already at hard work on their RTX 3000 series as well. Anyway we know that clock speeds are important but nothing is said from the leaker and so unfortunately makes it quite hard to know how fast this GPU will be and how hot it will run of course but yeah we can assume that because of its uh, huge die size it's going to be a power hungry beast. Navi 10 for example has a TDP of 225 watts and so assuming around 300 watts for this one wouldn't be completely unreasonable. Now stated on reddit this card will be using a GDDR6 memory and not HBM this time. Now WCCF Tech is reporting that this would mean that we are likely to get 384 to 512 bit memory interface which should either give us a 12 gigabyte or a 16 gigabytes of memory. Again WCCF Tech is reporting that AMD could also go one step ahead and offer 24 to even 32 gigabytes of GDDR6. 32 gigs of VRAM seems a bit extreme but 12 to even 16 gigabyte would be pretty sweet and considering the fact that next generation consoles are rumored to get around 12 gigabytes of VRAM which are set to release later this year 
there, picking up a graphics card with anything less than 8GB of VRAM might not be enough if you want to be able to max out your favorite game in 4K in a few years time. Now in terms of pricing as well as the release frame, we still don't have the answers. Chances are if these rumors turn out to be real, AMD could very much be speaking about the Navi 21 at CES at AMD's presentation on January 6th. As always, I'm going to keep you guys informed on this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Having more competition in the graphics card high-end space will definitely fix some of the ludicrous pricing of the RTX 2080 cards right now. Guys, <laughs> I want to know your thoughts. What do you think about Navi 21? Please let me know in the comments below.